Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Super Turtle on the docks in 2v2s. Yes, a 2v2 Super Turtle. Uh, I'm having so much fun with this. Well, this was actually really fun to do, but, you know, it's actually been three or four days since I've uploaded the first part of this video because I've been playing so much Halo Wars lately. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. So, but I will be uploading more videos now. I, uh, I've recently, well, I've gotten a little bored with Halo Wars so I can stop playing for a while. But yeah, look at this. In the middle of our Super Turtle, we just found these hunters up here. And we were like, what? But I've recently watched on Stud Muffin's YouTube, ch YouTube channel, Archangel, or x's and v's and whatnot i don't really know exactly what order they're placed in but he has a video where him and some other dude find this and they actually have a big epic fight up here but we just found these hunters that that prophet must have accidentally transported in there but anyway that's all for that right now they have their prophet of regret coming up on the top side of the map Luckily, I have my vampires placed there so I can stasis him before he's able to cause any trouble. And there are some banshees coming in, and vampires of his own. Uh-oh. That's always annoying when they make their own vampires and try to stasis mine. But it's really the best thing they can try to do. Of course, he's not stasising. Okay, there he goes. But I'm still stasising his prophet, and that's all that I really care about for now. Because I can build more vampires, but the Prophet's cleansing beam is so frickin' annoying because it does so much damage to bases. So you really gotta watch out for that. Keep him stasis, and as soon as he recalls or dies or whatever, you can turn your attention back to their vampires and take them out. I'm pretty much just chasing the Banshees around with my Chieftain because they do not sacrifice when my vortex blows them up. I'm not sure if they sacrifice when vampires make them blow up either, but I think they do. Anyway, so that stupid ugly prophet is still there, but uh, oh no he isn't, that, that was a banshee, I thought that was the prophet's little fuel rod guns going off, but no. There are still sacrifice banshees here though, however, and there's a lot of them and they are bombarding my base. And this isn't good because now that my shield is gone, enough sacrifice banshees can just keep spamming here and shooting into it and then sacrificing into it and they will eventually kill it. But luckily uh, he's trying to shoot at my vampires and stuff and I'm getting a few turrets up, I'm making more vampires, and... Yeah, I'm gonna vortex them. Let's vortex these banshees, man. Vortex everything. So now all of his banshees are, like, red zone. And I'm just gonna finish them off. Oh no, he moved! Oh god, epic fail. Looks like Mitch is holding down the fort in the middle with all my lovely engineers. And I'm going to uh, build something else there, maybe. I'm not sure if I queued anything up. His prophet of regret is back and it's cleansing the base and I don't have any vampires. Uh oh, this isn't good. Oh, nope, I didn't queue anything up. What a genius. <laughs> So now, Teal has destroyed my base, and he is now sending all of his forces to Mitch's base. And that's not good, because Mitch has five tech there, and he really needs that. Idiot. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so I stasis his prophet, though, so that's good. No more cleansing out of him, but they could always just turn around and cleanse me. And, well, or just kill my vampire, that's always good too. So 
so I gotta be careful with my vortex, try to kill all of Teal's units without blowing up Mitch's buildings. Because I do have a very massive vortex, and luckily they fly directly into it. Good job! Ha! It didn't kill any of them? Jeez Louise. So they're retreating back up to here, probably just to make sure I didn't retake that base. And that prophet is going to get murdered by the snipers that we set up in the strategic sniper locations. My vampire caught the prophet as well, and he pretty much has no life left, and he's warping in banshees. So Mitch will bring up the wolverines, and we'll clean those up too. So that was a pretty good attack that they made. They managed to kill my base up here. But uh, they're going to have to think a little bit harder if they're going to want to move on to Mitch's six tech base. Now that Mitch has six tech, his bases are invincible. That's right, I said it. His bases are invincible. <laughs> no, they're by no means invincible, but, you know. He has six tech, and that's great. But anyway, oh no, there's vultures attacking from the bottom now. Luckily, I left behind these engineers that can heal Mitch's base while it's getting destroyed. And those vultures aren't going to be able to kill it at all. <laughs> there's still banshees over here poking at his base, doing nothing. Usually that's a really good way to kill a base is to use a full army of vultures on this map and just send them over the wall and blow up their base, but not this time. Gosh, there's even more banshees. Banshees, banshees, banshees. I'm going to recall my three-star chieftain and vortex everything, hopefully. Since I have a lot of them stasis, they won't be able to move away from my vortex. And they will all get blown up. Ha! Oh boy, he's cleansing me good. And there's an, an example of when stasising doesn't work. Sometimes you just have to hit it multiple times for it to start working, but... Alright, so anyway, I've got my expansion base back up, and I built two shields on it, so it won't die again, hopefully. Because it's never fun when I lose my bases. It's not something I enjoy. All of the banshees are dead, and that's pretty much the end of this attack, so... Here we are, much later in the game. I do mean much, much later in the game. And there are a few banshees up here at the top. And this is an uh, example of when they just weren't communicating very well. And you can tell in the way that they were attacking. They were doing it one at a time. They weren't attacking together. And it was just a big sloppy mess. And very easy to push back. So if you're getting super turtled against you, just try to stay calm, stay cool, and you will eventually prevail. Of course. Especially in 2v2. Like, 2v2 it is always so scary to super turtle because you really could lose at any moment. <laughs> Something could go terribly wrong and you could get raped. But. Yep, now you'll see that Orange is made an air army as well for some reason, and it's going to get stasis and murdered just like Purple's army was seconds before him in the same spot. <laughs> so yeah, there goes their army there. But now, 
There are two scarabs in the middle and cobras. That's not very good. Two scarabs can be very devastating. But luckily I have my engineers here in the middle ready to heal. <sighs> and I will stasis that prophet before he's able to cleanse anything and those sniper jackals in the strategic locations will murder him. But he did manage to recall in time, but these scarabs are just going to melt in the presence of those cobras and the Mac blast. Oh lord, there's his engineers. Kill the scarab before they start healing it. Can we get it? Can we get it? Oh, we got it. And now I'm going to vortex all of his engineers just to really rub it in his face. But that's all the time I have for this episode, so stay tuned for part three of Let's Super Turtle on the Dock.